Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five day per week wisdom and legacy building podcast. This is day 601 of our trek, and it is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along life's show, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore Proverbs chapter 8 from the voice translation, which will give us a fresh perspective on this book of timeless wisdom. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. It has been an unusually cool spring for Southeast Ohio so far, which is somewhat surprising after such a mild winter. But the flowers are slow coming out, and the grass is also growing, so there's plenty of outdoor work to be completed as we have the opportunity. Our granddaughter Hazel is responding well to her chemo treatments for leukemia, and the physicians are pleased with the early results. Next Monday, she will have more extensive treatment and testing to hone in on her progress to determine if the current course of treatments are producing the desired results. For the next two to three months, Hazel will have weekly chemo treatments in Columbus on Mondays and also have blood drawn locally on a weekly basis to monitor those results. The high level of steroids and chemo are causing her to swell up significantly, and she is losing her precious red hair. While we do realize that these are just outward temporary manifestations of life-saving treatments that she must go through, it is difficult to see her suffer through these treatments. We would ask you to pray for Hazel and her family, and also for us as grandparents, that we would have the wisdom, insight, and understanding to make prudent choices and to be able to help out wherever we're needed. As we explore Proverbs chapter 8 today, we will learn from Lady Wisdom and the art of sharing God's wisdom. And this is the third speech in the book of Proverbs from Lady Wisdom. In stark contrast to chapter 7, The Tale of Evil Seduction, chapter 8 includes a beautiful poem from Lady Wisdom to the reader. While both women seek companions, they could not be more different. As the adulteress speaks from their shadows, so does Lady Wisdom from the highest places in the city. The evil woman uses deceptive words, but Wisdom speaks of unparalleled excellence and beauty. This contrast serves to heighten our disgust for one and our admiration for the other. In verses 1 through 3, Lady Wisdom is introduced. For the remainder of the chapter, she speaks eloquently about what she has to offer. Her monologue, however, does not take place before a captive audience. Rather, she walks on the cobblestone roads of life, calling out to those who have the courage to listen. Lady Wisdom's poetic discourse is full of feeling and force. You can't help but fall under its sway. It is rhythmic, impassioned, and persuasive. In verses 4-21, through 21, she urges the reader to listen to the words of her mouth, for they are far better than silver, gold, or jewels. Her words also bequeath honor. I have insight. I have power, she promises. Because of me, kings wield power. If that was not enough, verses 22 through 31 rewinds the tapes of history, and we see that next to the Creator stood none other than Lady Wisdom. God utilized wisdom as He built our strange and wonderful world. She rejoiced at the work of His hands. But who can we compare this Lady Wisdom to? Well, in verses 32 through 36, Lady Wisdom concludes her poem. She addresses the father's children as her own and tells them, Find me and you will find true happiness. So let me ask you, are you watching daily at Wisdom's Doors? Listen up now as I read chapter 8 and allow her words to have full sway over you. Isn't Lady Wisdom calling? Listen, don't you hear the voice of understanding crying out? She has taken her stand at the highest places in the city, at the crossroads where everyone can see her. There, at the gates, at the entrance to the city, Right in front of the city door, she cries out, O people, I am calling you. I have a message for all humanity. You gullible people, acquire insight. You naive ones, cultivate the heart that truly understands. Listen, for what I am about to tell you is of unparalleled excellence and beauty. What I am about to say will set things right. I will only speak the truth. I despise evil, so it will not pass through my lips. Everything I say promotes justice. Not one word is crooked, and nothing is distorted. Each and every word is straight talk to perceptive people, upright and honest to knowledge seekers. Accept my correction as being more valuable than a prized possessions. Authentic knowledge is more valuable than pure gold. You see, no gem is more precious than Lady Wisdom. Your most extravagant desire doesn't come close to her. I make my home with prudence. I obtain knowledge and sound justice. If you respect the eternal, you will grow to despise evil. I despise wretched, vile talk and ways of pride and arrogance. Good counsel is mine and also true wisdom. I am understanding and strength belongs to me. It is because of me that kings wield power and authorities decree what is right. 
It is because of me that leaders and their agents govern, and all judge according to what is right. I love those who love me. Those who search hard for me will find me. Riches and honor are the benefit of following me. So are lasting wealth and justice. My reward is better than gold, even the purest gold, and my profit is greater than the highest quality of silver. I follow the way of right living. Follow me along the path to find justice. I am ready to meet those who love me, bestow true riches upon them, and fill up their lives until their treasuries overflow. The Eternal One created me. It happened when His work was beginning, one of His first acts long ago. Before time, He established me. Before the earth saw its first sunrise, I was born before the deep existed, before any springs poured out their water, before the mountains were placed on their foundations, before the hills rolled across the land. Yes, before all of this, I was brought forth, when the earth was yet unformed and the fields were not yet nestled beneath the wind, even before the first dust of the earth. When he created the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle in the deep, dividing the oceans and the sky, I was there. I was there when he established the sky. I was there when the springs of the deep were fortified. I witnessed him lay down the shore as a boundary and put limits on the water and determine the foundations of the earth. All of this time I was close beside him, a master craftsman. Every day I was his delightful companion, celebrating every minute in his presence, elated by the world he was making and all its fine creatures. I was especially pleased with humanity. So now listen, my children. Those who live by my ways will find true happiness. Pay attention to my guidance. Dare to be wise and don't disregard my teachings. The one who listens to me, who carefully seeks me in everyday things and delay actions until my way is apparent, that one will find true happiness. For he recognizes and follows me. He finds a peaceful and satisfying life and receives favor from the eternal. But heed my warning. The one who goes against me will only hurt himself. For all who despise me are playing with fire and courting death. Well, that will conclude our exploration of Proverbs chapter 8. We need to understand how valuable Lady Wisdom is to our lives. She was even before anything else was made. Next week we will continue with chapter 9, and each week we will explore a full chapter in Proverbs. I hope that you will join us each week so that you can gain wisdom, insight, and understanding for yourself. All the Proverbs provide us with rich wisdom, insight, and understanding on a myriad of life issues. Regardless of where you are on your faith walk, if the precepts of Proverbs are followed, your life will be much more rich and satisfying. I encourage you to take and plant these seeds of wisdom into your heart so that you'll reap a harvest of wisdom throughout your life. Tomorrow we will hike another short trail on our Wisdom Unplugged series where we will discover an inspirational wisdom quote. So encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read the associated Wisdom Journal, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe at iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.